Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us on this new special entertainment review. Now, you're probably used to seeing Art and I review old films and old TV shows from uh, Grace's Vintage Film Channel. We love those stuff. But this is something different. This is current entertainment it's in the theaters. We've picked a movie that is not only new and hot, but a classic. And you'll see why in just a minute. Um, the name of the film has, uh, first of all, it's been breaking box office records. Uh, and uh, it's really worth reviewing because it's one of those films. It's a classic monster movie. And the, the question for all monster movies is, you know, is it real? Is it phony? Come on, give me a break. That kind of stuff. But we love them. So the name of the film is Kong versus Godzilla, or maybe it's Godzilla versus Kong. Whatever it is, it harkens back to the classic monsters from what, 19, the 1930s? Art, Kong, yeah. King Kong was 1933 or something yeah, like that. And I think uh, Godzilla was in the uh, 50s, 60s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was based on uh, nuclear uh, waste and right. all that stuff. So these, this new franchise is absolutely fantabulous. It's, you know, got all the modern technology. It's none of that stop motion, uh, move the doll, you know, a quarter of an inch kind of thing uh, that we used to see and put up with. Uh, it's from Legendary Studios, which has done four of these monster films, and they're they're just wonderful. They do a great job with it. But like all monster films, it's got that, uh, you know, the, the monster's good or are they bad? And, uh, you know, they wreck the world. They wreck the earth. But maybe. Maybe they are just deserving of a little leeway, you know, because they're monsters. Art, tell me about or tell our audience about the classic original King Kong and Godzilla. Well, I'm going to tell you, I was, I was a great fan of the original King Kong movie, the one in, the, I guess, the 30s uh, or 40s uh, with uh, Fay Ray. And I forget yep. the name of the of the Huxa, who was the... Uh, the, the marketing guy, whoever it was, who brought him back and put him in chains and so on yeah. and so forth. Yeah. And uh, I also have a special affection for, not so much the remakes, by the way, but the original King Kong uh, with the with, with, with the, the, the phony baloney uh, airplanes uh, trying to shoot him down. Yeah. And, you know, Shades of Casablanca. <laughs> Shades of Casablanca. And by yes. the way, just as a note, uh, stop motion animation. Ray Harryhausen, Jason and the Argonauts, Gumby, just tread, yeah. tread lightly, John. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'll go I back. I apologize. I'll go back. And then so well, Godzilla. Oh, well, stop, 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 stop. So Godzilla has a special affection because the Ernie Kovacs show uh, ran a contest of what would you feed the beast, and the beast happened to be Godzilla. He was a big thing uh, at, at, during that time, and I won. I, I said, uh, I think uh, it was uh, a beehives and a whole bunch of other things. And they sent me my, <laughs> my prize, which was a album of the music from the show Danger. So uh, you may not remember that because you may not be old enough, John. Okay. <laughs> Probably. Or That's your right. memory is failing. So, but, <laughs> yeah. but here's the deal. I just saw the, uh, I, I know it's breaking box office records. Yeah. And if somebody can convince me to go see it, that's fine. But I saw the trailer. And quite frankly, it may have a great story. But the animation is not as good as a lot of the other stuff I've seen recently oh. of, of animation. It's good. But it's not, it's not um, as good as some of the other stuff I've seen in the trailer. Oh, well, you you only go by the trailer. I, I, Art, I have to tell you, as a gray-haired guy who, who knew and loved the original Kong and Godzilla, I, I can't resist this movie. I, I've got to go see it. I, and now I know they make these movies for teenagers and whatever, but I'm telling you, if you're over 40 or 50, you have to go see this movie. It, I think the, the animation is fabulous. Compare it to the, as you say, the Ray Harryhausen stop motion stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, we accepted that because that was the best we could see at that time. But, oh, my Lord, computer animation and uh, uh, the digitizing, the digital uh, video, 
it's all come so far. This is a wonderful, a technically superior movie. Now, the real question is, are the monsters good? Are they good guys? Yeah, what's the story? Kong? Is it a good story? Yeah, that's the story. Yeah, no, I, and, I, and I let, let's face it. There is no monster movie where the story is really very deep, okay? Hmm. Um, let me just read you the quick synopsis that they've been publicizing. Kong and his protectors undertake a perilous journey to find his true home. Well, now, how hard can it be to find his true home? Uh, along for the ride is Gia, an orphan girl who has a unique and powerful bond with a slightly with a mighty beast. Gia, girl, orphan. Oh, this is yeah, breaking my heart already. Uh, however, they soon find themselves in the path of an enraged Godzilla as he cuts a swath of destruction across the globe. Godzilla, oh Godzilla, now be nice, be nice. So this is this this is typical monster movie stuff. The storyline really isn't important. It wasn't important when I saw Godzilla the first time. It's not important now. What's important is the the monsters are really bad. They wreck everything. And and the animation is now believable, I think. So mm. I recommend people go see this movie. It's a it's gotta be on your list, no matter how old you are. So I'm I'm gonna recommend to me that before I go spend a ton of money to, in the theater to see this movie that you're smitten with, obviously yes. smitten with, okay? I'm going to let you report to me because to me, this is the kind of movie that I might watch on one of the various streaming channels that I'm paying for so I don't have to pay extra for it, okay? But you may convince me otherwise. Now, I, I, I do want to admit, I do want to admit that uh, I heard a recent interview with Matt Damon about the possibility of another Jason Bourne movie. And if another Jason Bourne movie comes out, I'm in the theaters night one. Before <laughs> I see the Rotten Tomatoes review, for which Godzilla vs. Kong is 54%. Yeah. So I'm oh, going to yeah. I'm gonna wait for an enthusiastic hoo-ha from you before I bother to watch this movie. But it could be great. Well, I'm telling you, uh, it doesn't need 54% from Rotten Tomatoes. That's fine. That This is a monster movie. Get over it. Anyway, but this is current in the news, and I'm sure that there's going to be lots of people in our audience who are absolutely going to love it. But I'm waiting for John to come back with a In the Trenches, On the Front Lines review, and uh, he'll tell me privately whether or not he thought it was worth it. I'll see what he'll tell you guys. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.